people don't really think that there are places on the planet that haven't been explored yet. And the idea that there are still places for us to go and look and find new things is really exciting. I'm a fellow of the Explorers Club. The Explorers Club is based in New York City and it was founded, you know, almost 100 years ago. It's a group of individuals who are interested in exploration and science and discovery. It includes some of the most renowned explorers in the world, people that have gone to the top of Mount Everest, people that have gone to the bottom of the Mariana Trench, people that have gone to the moon. Uh, so I feel very honored to be inducted as a fellow into the Explorers Club. One of the things I wanted to do was to apply to carry a flag from the Explorers Club on this mission uh, because it is such a cool opportunity to go somewhere and be on a site where no one has been before. Carry the flag to Pickle Bank on a flagged mission. That will be wow. logged in the Explorers Club headquarters as an official exploration mission. Unfortunately today we're not gonna be out at Pickle Bank but we're gonna start with some warm-up dives here on Grand Cayman. All right, let's quickly go over our plan. Make sure all our equipment works, make sure we know exactly what we're gonna do, and we're ready for this whole week. I think the most challenging thing for us is that we don't really know what we're getting into. We know that there are some areas that come up relatively shallow, and when I say shallow, I'm talking 80 to 100 feet deep. And so that's sort of the shallowest point we're looking at. We think that it's then gonna drop down to a platform at about 150 feet deep, and then beyond that, it will be sheer walls. We do know that there's a strong current, probably three-ish knots which means that it's gonna be really difficult to swim against any current. So all of the divers will be using uh, DPVs, their little underwater scooters, uh, that will help us move against the current to get into the position we want to be in. In terms of what we're gonna find, I have no idea. I'm thinking that we're gonna find a lot of pelagic fish species, so probably some tuna. I think that we're going to see some outcroppings of coral, some areas with high algae cover, probably a lot of sponges, hopefully some sharks. I always want to see sharks. Not only do sharks indicate that the ecosystem is healthy, but I guess you'd say I'm a bit of an adrenaline junkie. I don't think I would have gotten into this rebreather diving and diving really deep on, you know, offshore seamounts if I didn't like the, uh, the adrenaline rush. And so I think having a large animal like a shark uh, come up out of the blue while you're doing this always adds a bit of excitement and uh, thrill to it. <laughs> He went to the harbor master office and they were closed at 12 yesterday. Okay. We have to get clearance from them to leave out. Wait, to leave? To leave out um, and go to Pickle Bank. Oh. Yeah, because you're out of international waters. You're, 12, you're more than 12 miles out. And we can't get that clearance today? No, it'll be tomorrow. So it turns out because we have to actually go into international waters to get to the seamount. We need to get customs clearance for when we come back into Grand Cayman. That means that all of us had to go send our passports to the immigration office for clearance, and we didn't know this until you know earlier today when the captain told us this. Fingers crossed we're gonna get this cleared tonight and still be on our way in the morning. Club flag number 230 is officially making its debut on the trip to Pickle Bank. Today we're waiting for an extra crew member and once he gets on board we're gonna push off and make our way. It's gonna take us about eight to nine hours so if we can get there quicker and it's not quite sunset we will jump in for a dive tonight. The main responsibility of this uh, whole charter and trip is the safety of the vessel and all of the personnel on board. The crew thinks it's too rough for us to get to Pickle Bank. I think that the only possible day would be Thursday, but I'm not holding my breath that we will get there at all. At this point, I'm trying to just come up with an alternative plan for what we're gonna do. I think there are options that we can still get some cool things done. It just won't be at Pickle Bank. And I'm compiling something that we can discuss shortly. This is what I've decided we need to do now that we are not going to Pickle Bank. We're gonna focus on 12 Mile. That's where I think we can fill in holes and actually still get something solid out of this trip. 
12 Mile is not as remote as Pickle Bank. It's 12 miles away from the coast of Grand Cayman. It's also deep. The shallowest part at the top of the seamount is at 110 feet, and then it goes off a sheer wall down to thousands of feet deep. So there's still some really interesting things to look at, and we're gonna be doing all of the same elements that we were planning to do at Pickle Bank. We're still gonna be doing photogrammetry, we're still gonna do fish surveys, we're still gonna collect for eDNA, and we're still gonna look at genetic connectivity. So the plan itself doesn't change, it's just the location that's being shifted slightly. So while it's disappointing, we're also trying to stay very positive because we're still getting something cool, we're still doing some exciting exploration. Have fun, y'all! You know, what we get out of this will still be you know, what we were looking for overall. And I don't think that the attitude or people's hopes really turned around until we started actually getting in the water at 12 Mile. And then we're like, okay, now we're actually getting science. We're doing something and it's, this is exciting. That was a good time. <laughs>